Sponsored by Flip Narrative. And remember, if you don't love your story, flip it. Got a question from Jim. I'd watch a vintage t-shirt Dad Planet video any day of the week. Is there a high bid online auction site for Ohio? I source from I source from not a good bit in Indiana. So Jim, I just recently, and when I say just recently, I'm talking like two weeks at the most, have it started to explore high bid. And what I've noticed is there are a couple like Ohio sellers. I can't speak for Indiana. Um, Indiana isn't somewhere I would drive and I don't, I haven't explored like items that I could potentially ship, but yeah, yeah. I've, I've have found a few in Ohio that are decent or will they have, it's hard to, to know what the product mix is, but there were, there were three or four that I noticed that were Ohio based. And that's kind of what led me to the electronics lot that I found. So I, I've seen a few of them. It's not, it's not going to be like Florida where there's like a million to choose from. But if you're willing to either have stuff shipped or come to Ohio to like do a pickup, then there are a couple. I, I Off the top of my head, I can't remember because it's brand new. The one, Boyd is the one that I think I bought the um, electronics lot from. I can't remember exactly. I think it's Boyd's, Boyd or Boyd's. Um, but there are a couple in Ohio. So yeah, look look into it for sure. But I am, I am brand new to high bid, um, auction zip, all of that stuff. So, and I'm talking so new that I put in a bid last night for a book and it got to die because they hadn't like added the dollar to my bank account. You know how you give them a <laughs> credit card number and they verify yeah. the dollar like. Right. So I sent them a message and I was like, did my bid just get denied? Or like, he was like, oh yeah, we, you know, we haven't verified you yet. Good Lord. That's how new I am though. So you still way ahead of me. I'm literally writing this down as we speak. Hi yeah. bid. Auction zip, never heard of either one of those. H I B I D. Um, and then auction zip obviously is auction zip. And that there there are probably more there are some that won't be listed there that you'll find in your local area, but it's worth it's worth looking into, especially when you're when your time is you know what I mean? Your time is yeah. tight. So and it's but it's it's real easy for everyone to sit at their keyboard and not be out. So you have to deal with that too. Like the auctions it could be more competitive because it's just right. Everybody has access to their computer at home or whatever, but right. whoa, you'll find deals. I mean, I, I found one, I found one that I was happy with. I'm super pissed. I didn't get that, that book though. That was like a $150 book with Damn. great sell through, but what's the name of the book? It was a book called the too much horror business, I think. And it was written by mm. the guitarist from Metallica. Um, mm. Yeah. So um, Kirk Hammett, I believe, is the author of the book, and it sold for like 12 bucks. Wow. And it's a $150 book. Too much horror business. I don't know, something like that. Just look up horror business, Kirk Hammett, and uh, you'll the comps will come up. So yeah, I was, I was bummed. Yeah, 120 that. bucks. <laughs> did, you look, did you find it? Literally just Googled it. It, it sold for 12 bucks. bucks. Yeah, it sold wow. for $12. So That's amazing. Well, there goes a nice little bolo for you guys to... Make sure you check the book section for that. Never Absolutely. heard of that one. So you said high bid auction zip. I'm trying to give I'm trying to give everybody some game here. High bid auction auction zip. I'm trying to think if there's any more. Let me look on my computer and see if something comes up. Because I know about like liquidations and uh, blue lots. You Home can Depot look. and Walmart have their like liquidation thing. Mm -hmm. I think you just I literally found it just typing in Home Depot liquidations and there's a bunch of them that pop up. I'm not, I don't know. I don't, I don't do a whole lot of, a whole lot of liquidation. I bought a lot of like bulk lots when I was selling on Amazon, but I outgrew that mm. when, uh, when I started moving into private label and all that. So if you guys enjoyed that short clip from the podcast, click over here for another short clip. And if you guys want to check out the full podcast, click over here. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.